Hey there, Casey Gray here. Now in this video, you'll be hearing from Simon, who is from last week's Chainsaw Retrofit video tour. He is sharing some details and motivations about his fossil fuel free home, including his winter performance test. Enjoy this video with Simon. Uh, the one experiment that we did conduct earlier this year, uh, right in the middle of January, minus 25 for a week on end, I turned off the power to all of our heating systems and just let it sit and see what happened. So uh, after about 20 hours of no power to any of our heating components, not the air source heat pump, not the heated floor, uh, we went from 21 degrees inside to about 17 degrees in this room and we were 19 degrees upstairs and in fact warming up further upstairs as the sun's heat was coming in uh, through the back windows that are south facing. I think that was successful and that was a test I've been wanting to run for ages. Can you turn the power off for a full day and not notice? And the answer is basically yes. So I consider that uh, a test well done. Net zero is uh, possible with this project. It would involve adding about uh, a 10 kilowatt array of solar panels on the roof. Uh, we have the specification for that. However, it's not immediately uh, something that we're pursuing. Um, while the building is capable of it, we've chosen to achieve our net zero status instead by buying uh, green electricity supply from Bullfrog Power. So that's offsetting our carbon emissions from the uh, electricity grid uh, through a third party instead. Uh, and so should we choose, we can add the solar panels at any time in the future. The main motivation for this project, apart from you know, building a, a house or re renovating a house that could last for longer, is actually removing our uh, reliance on fossil fuels. Uh, as part of the finish of the project, the gas meter has been removed, the gas main has been uh, disconnected and pulled back, and we are now running completely on electricity here with air source heat pump for, for uh, our heating system. The effect of that is uh, incredible. We no longer have uh, the feeling of a hot day and a cold day outside affecting the building at all. It's a constant 21 degrees on the interior and our overall heating and cooling bill is exactly the same as what we had before we started uh, and yet we'll benefit from future savings as carbon prices rise, uh, meaning the price of gas will go up but the price of electricity will not be so affected. So we're very, very happy with the result. We've got a very warm, comfortable building. It's energy efficient to heat and cool and we are off the fossil grid. Our experience with the Conscious Builder has been fantastically positive. Uh, it's been a real partnership between us and the, the team. Uh, we've had a couple of tech leads, both of whom have been extremely good to work with. Uh, everyone who's come on site has been uh, really respectful and uh, very uh, motivated to help with this project. I think it's been uh, interesting for the, the team that we've had here, rather than building sort of ordinary uh, ordinary homes, there's something interesting and unique about this project which has attracted uh, Conscious Builder staff to come and help out. Uh, largely, uh, the team's been very clear and very transparent about costs, about time. Estimates have been made and have been almost completely correct every time, uh, both for cost and time. And it's been very easy to be able to uh, reschedule and adapt to work as we find uh, different things uh, you know, are, are uncovered or as, as we expand the project to uh, to take on new components. So I think working with Conscious Builder has been very, very positive, very easy, and uh, I'd certainly recommend them to anyone considering a project like this. Now there's one thing that I want to clarify regarding net zero. Simon is referring to being net zero in actual energy usage, which is not to be confused with the net zero energy ready or net zero energy certification. In order to achieve that status, we would need to improve the blower door test results to below 1.5 ACH from the current 2.42. It could be done by finishing the basement. However, it really doesn't make practical or financial sense for Simon and Christina, considering the ceiling height and the space limitations down there. Instead, Simon has opted to skip the certification and track the energy himself. If you haven't seen last week's video tour with Matt, Simon, and Christina, make sure to check it out. They cover a lot of details about the project and for the contractors out there, if you are looking to grow your residential construction business, check out the Conscious Builder Academy at ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com for our latest course, How to Market and Sell Passive Houses and Other High Performance Homes. If you're new to the website, you can also check out my free course about the five things that I wish I knew before I started my business. 
Links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remember to live consciously. Figure out what to play. Woo! I don't know, that's amazing. Sorry, I don't remember.